Hey all friends, welcome to the channel. Bob here again with some more uh, Vanguard Saga of Heroes on a bit of a Vanguard kick at the moment. Um, yeah, from a video point of view, it'll probably be winding down a bit on Vanguard, I think, probably. Um, I've had a look, and what I'll be doing in the future is just, when I come across something that's interesting and worth recording, I'll be recording it. And this is kind of one of those times. <laughs> this is a Dark Elf uh, Psionicist which uh, is very much um, based around the Enchanter from um, from EverQuest, P99, if that's what you're used to. It's at, with some changes, uh, some changes for the battle. Unfortunately, this is one of those characters, I think, that one of those classes that I'm finding suffers the most from bugs and things that are not implemented yet. So I would say the experience is not probably what it should be once the emulator is finished. Um, and some changes also to the gameplay that I, I, I didn't like. Um, yeah, change changes some of the spells and stuff. But anyway, one of the things you get, you get a spell called, first of all, let's, let's go through the spells. You get a spell called Union of Fault, which allows you to fuse your thoughts with the other Psionicists in the world. Uh, and it allows communication um, between all players participating in the Union, which sounds like a good idea. It gives you a slight regen, one energy per second which is a good thing doesn't seem to do anything else it would have been quite good if that did allow for maybe it did in live or further down the line but uh, for higher level versions of the spell but yeah I kind of felt that they had a good idea going there but didn't really um, didn't really implement it particularly brilliantly maybe um, yeah it's one of those, one of those, it's one of those. <laughs> like maybe just a very slight damage buff, depending on how many people were in the Union. Up until a point, I guess that could be exploited, but, you know, that would have been quite interesting. You get Mental Focus, which is a buff. It does all that stuff. Um, it does all that stuff, basically. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, so we've got Mental Blast, which is direct damage spell. Compression Sphere, which is like a dot. Um... The Enchanter in EverQuest kind of damage damage spells seem to mostly focus around the. Um, actually, no, I think that didn't the, the dots in the dots on the Enchanter were based around kind of choking your opponent. So this is kind of like a crushing field, essentially that collapses and does damage to your opponent. Uh, Time trick is basically the a, a, a mesmerize. It's probably worth covering this because it's quite weird. Like when you mes something, you can't do anything to it. So you can't damage it, take it out of mes. It can't do anything. Nothing happens. It just stands there, um, kind of. But anyway, we'll get into that in a sec. Uh, what it's supposed to do, after four seconds out of phase, it will begin to rapidly heal. So when you mes something, if it was damaged, it's probably going to come out of mes. Um, yeah, um, healed up. But there is a spell called Synchronize, which uh, basically um, forces it back into normal time. So it, it kind of, it's a bit like um, a bit like the Goblin Ring, I guess. It ends um, no, not like Goblin Ring, because that's Charm, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit like doing damage to it, I guess. You can you can mess something, and you can you can remove the mess whenever you want, or let it go its full course, basically. Suggestion is Charm. It seems to be like a um, 20 to 30 seconds, so there's a, there's a bit of randomness, but you kind of know um, it's going to last, what should last at least 20 seconds from what I can tell. Uh, Fault Pulse is a um, direct damage spell with no cast time. Um, so it's, uh, simulacrum is a problem. Um, it doesn't work, basically. Uh, let's go and find a mob. Uh, what Simulacrum is supposed to do is um, it's supposed to summon uh, um, a copy of, of the mob to fight it. So it's kind of fighting itself. Um, and the, uh, the, the Phantasm doesn't do any damage, but it does large amounts of hate. So that's, that's not working. And that's a big miss, because I think that the problems that I'm having with the class... Um, a lot of that will be alleviated if some simulacrum was working, but it's not. Okay, so that's a problem. Then you've got, um, uh, what was the first dot? 
uh, compression sphere. Yeah, so there's two dots, compression sphere, and then you've got temporal shift, which is a different dot line. It does dots, but it also um, takes them out of phase again. So it reduces movement, um, it reduces attack by 10%, and it reduces movement by 60%. Um, and I've just picked up these two spells. Arcane finish, counter spell. Yeah, counter spell seems quite obvious. This arcane finish, I'm not sure how this works up here, here okay so at some point this chain ability becomes active and it instantly does a load of damage um, yeah so what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you um, this is this is the end what I'm going to show you now is the end quest line um, the end quest line for the kind of like I say starter island you know the island that you start on before you because you, you do move on i did this with the shaman and the problem with the shaman is is that it's kind of a bit boring at the moment um i ran around and did the dungeon quite easily actually um just by hammering and healing and that's basically it, it wasn't much fun <laughs> so i thought i would try it with this class because i think this will probably i think doing this will probably highlight the um uh the strengths and weaknesses of the class it also highlights some of the some of the bug issues for you as well i think and some of the gameplay changes that they seem to have made uh, but anyway you need a pegasus which is uh, which is a lot of fun <laughs> you basically get to go on a you summon your own pegasus and you get to go on a pegasus ride what's great about it is i think after the, when you finish this quest line you actually get your own pegasus to fly around on i'm not sure if you can come here and do this straight away or if you need the quest line to to summon to be able to, to be able to use a um, to be able to use a Pegasus, but if 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 you you know if you need if you're at this point and you want to fly back to a different part of the island, it's quite quick just to summon a Pegasus. Actually, it only costs a few copper, and then just fly where you want to go. But we're going up here to a temple, which is the next. Um, I couldn't take off on Pegasus for quite some time. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Um, let's put some audio on, shall we? Let's see how that goes. Hopefully it's not too loud. Yeah, so you need to press double space <laughs> to fly on your Pegasus, basically. Uh, and this is where the final quest line is. As I said, I've already done this with my Shaman, but it wasn't very interesting. I thought it would be more interesting to play this class. What is this? Projection to play, allowing you to absorb. Oh, okay. Ah, so I've got these little, these, these little buffs that I can put on down here. I can clear my mind or I can use a concentration. Okay, doesn't seem to absorb some damage, basically. Um, let's get off the thing. Okay, so here we go. So, uh, charm, send on mob. And then, so here's one of the big problems. Um... For some reason, I don't know why, because it was brilliant in EverQuest, and I hated it in, any, in all the other games that, that they did it in, is that this game has a combat state. So basically, when you're in combat, you can't do anything, um, which is very annoying. Uh, I don't understand why they did it, uh, why they do these things, I really don't know. Um, I guess it was because Warcraft had it, maybe, but basically, when you're in combat, you can't sit down to meditate, you can't eat food, you can't do anything um, that may involve you like recuperating, basically. Um, and I just, I always hated that. You know, just keep it as, as it was in EverQuest. There's no combat state. Whatever you can do in combat, um, out of combat, you can do in combat as well. Maybe because of the way the game was designed, um, it was too overpowered to be able to do those things when you're in combat, but EverQuest did it fine, you know, so I don't quite know what the problem was. Uh, this guy is a... Uh, this guy is a... Uh, this guy is a boss, I think. Yeah, so when, when you charm, you've got a short space of time, you know, before your mob is not charmed anymore. So you've got to, you've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, but yeah, but the, the combat thing it is annoying. Um, I just don't like that. I don't really know. You can just recharm the bomb, bomb again, basically. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I really just don't like that. 
um, and that and that does make for um, yeah some issues when you're trying to play the class because what what you'll find is that when particularly on this particular character anyway is when you're oh god okay right, I'll mez this one I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of um, combat break okay so what I'll do is I'll try and keep Kunyi mezzed oops I don't know what will happen let's take this mob out of will, will Kunyi get aggro straight away no he won't no okay Oh dear, okay. Okay, so we got aggro again. We'll let them fight for a bit. Problem is now, I can't do anything. Um, I can't do anything to heal myself, I can't do anything to reset the combat. I know I'm comparing it to the EverQuest Enchantra, maybe that's unfair. But I, I really, I, yeah, I'm really not a big fan of... Um, can't do that yet why not okay I'm having, okay I've died okay now you're probably right in saying well you could have just mez you can mez more than one mob actually so you're probably thinking to yourself well you could have just mez there Bob and I could have done but the problem I found is that once once you're low on health um, unless you can get out of combat to regenerate your health you're kind of buggered like if I'd have mezzed the mob there um, it would have still been in combat with me um, and I would have been on low health my health wouldn't be going up so yeah you're kind of left in a state where you haven't got much you haven't got many hit points left you can't regain your hit points I haven't got any potions or anything to regain my hit points with um, I probably should have been looking at my temporal fracture there maybe that would have been available I think it might have made things a bit easier but yeah it's um it is a real problem you know for a character that can't heal themselves and uh, you know, and, and I'm 100%. You know, it might be you might be saying, well, maybe this class is just not supposed to do this kind of stuff. And you might be right. You know, that might be exactly <laughs> what the situation is. But um, I don't feel that I'm. I don't feel that I'm struggling to solo this because of um, because the class is not up to it. I feel it's more to do with the fact that. Um, there are some slight issues like as i said i mean i'm probably um biased here but I, i've always hated the uh um i've always hated the um i've always hated the uh the in combat and out of combat um phases i don't understand that everquest didn't do it as i said before so i don't know why uh is it dead i think so so we'll wait for um, Kunyi to break charm. And we'll recharm him again. And let's. Uh, what the hell's hitting me? Let's see what happens. Yeah, the other thing as well is that the, the, the Mez, like. Because the Mez just Mez is, you get into a point where you may have a mob or two Mez or something, but. There's not much you can do with, with the mob. With the mob, um, I mean, I guess there are some situations where I could run away, um, but when you're in a dun when you're in a dungeon like this, you know, it's a it's a weird one because you're you're stuck, you're stuck, <laughs> and uh, you could just keep mezzing the mob, I guess, um, but I'm not sure really if that's the you know <laughs> if that works. The other thing that doesn't help as well in here is that. Um, is the mob um, oh come on the other thing that, does, that doesn't help in here is that the mob uh, the mob regeneration seems too fast so mobs are it seems really random as well you know so mobs are kind of regenerating um, of kind of respawning sometimes but not others so it would be nice if there was a, a fixed spawn time um that was longer than just a few minutes, you know. 
Uh, let's see if we can nuke this mob down. Okay. So certainly, if you guys have got any other ideas of how this works, let me know. But this is how I've been doing it. You know, I've been... Um, I shouldn't have done that, actually. Uh, I think I might wait for him to break spawn. See that, see, that mob I just killed has already spawned. That's like a... What was that? 60 seconds or so? That's too quick. Um... And I feel that maybe that is also something that's currently in place because so that you can, um, you know, so that we can, uh, so he's going to wander all the way up here. Maybe that's in place so that just for testing purposes, but um, it is a problem. I think I'm just going to try and nuke him out, basically. Okay, so let's see if we can... There is a wanderer going around. I can't do much about that. Let's see if we can kill these two off quickly. Things are starting to spawn behind. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this up here because there's a wanderer going to go past. And... Um, Okay, let's see if I can quickly just get some health back. So we're making fairly good progress. <laughs> um, not amazing, but fairly good. Okay, so what have we got here? Yeah, mobs kind of aggro and go through walls and stuff as well, which is not good. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't pick up the bloody quests. Oh, God. Bob, please. The other thing as well is that when you've got a mob charmed and, it, and you target it and it comes out of charm, um, then what basically happens is you it untargets itself. That's really so. You have to kind of target it again to do, you know. You have to target it again. So let's see if I can just quickly. Uh, oh, I've already picked them up. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, we've got another spawn behind. Yeah, okay. Okie doke. Well, as you can see, <laughs> it's not going so well. Um, I do feel that a lot of the issues, some of, well, some of the issues there is to do with the spawn times. Um, I don't know if the spawn times were like this in the game where they're just basically completely random. Um and quite quick but it, it does make kind of crawling through the dungeon and then and then having those moments where you can just rest up before the next um before the next combat just a bit just harder basically oh bob <laughs> Well, I've still got my Pegasus. I think so. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it'd be a shame if it'd be a shame if they if the game is more of like a spam, kill things quick kind of game. After a, it doesn't really feel like like Brad Brad Quaid's philosophy really um, doesn't feel like the sort of thing he would do. But as I said, I mean, you know, I've said it before in other videos that there are this this is there are differences here because the game because the guys it's very early alpha the emulation and they are testing stuff so maybe it's not supposed to be like this but um yeah i do feel that one of the most disappointing spells though is is mesmerize i mean i love the fact that you you got this little thing where you can kind of turn it off whenever you want but um yeah but the problem with that but the problem with it generally is it, it, it just if you 
if you need some respite or you need to be able to rest or just reset the combat, you can't do it, you know, because at some point the mez is going to wear off. And if you're low on health, because you're in combat, you can't heal yourself. Well, you could do if you had a heal spell, I guess, but I haven't got that. Um, yeah, so you're kind of you're kind of stuck in a way. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's start this. Let's start again. I think what I'm going to do is. I'll try and kill the mobs as quickly as I can. It's telling me I didn't have a valid target. I don't know why. I couldn't see it. You know, maybe that was it. But let's try again. Uh, this was a breeze on the shaman, by the way, purely because I could just keep because I could just heal myself through the um, yeah through the combat, and I can s let's keep him going, and I can see why they're talking about classes like the disciple being super solo OP because if you can just he keep healing yourself you know you're laughing really in this game that didn't work okay so now things will be fine now if I could you know, at this point, if I could just have some respite from the combat, um, and maybe it would allow me to do that. But I think what you'll notice is that the... Oh, he's bugged. Okay. Jesus, that's annoying. What about if I charm him? Okay, so the charm, you know, seems to have uh, helped... Let's send. Let's 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 have a let's have a three-way fight. So this mob doesn't react, but if I damage this, if I personally damage this mob, it will react. And what will happen is that eventually it will react. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the other thing as well with it, as you can see. Like as soon as, okay, uh, let's kill this off. So what we want it to be about is making progress. Um, and then we'll charm. Okay. And then we'll attack. There is a wandering mob here, but it doesn't seem to have respawned yet. It's pointless hiding behind walls because there is there are bugs where uh, mobs just come through walls. Okay. So I think I will kill this mob. What I've noticed as well is that... Ah, jeez. Okay. I see quite a lot of um, resists as well, which can be a problem, particularly from a direct damage. Uh, bearing, bearing in mind that like these mobs are um, like two levels below me, it can be quite frustrating. So we've made our way to here. Um, there is a Roma. I wasted some food there, but I think that there was a Roma there. But I think the Roma is kind of gone. So I might try and use this. Um, I might try and use this mob as a... So I've got him targeted, I think. But it doesn't target him as a actual NPC. So you need to retarget him and then charm him again. Um, what if I pull the other one? Oh. Uh, 
Okay. Here comes the Roma. So we're, we're making progress. <laughs> we're, we're, we are making progress. Um, what I don't want here is a spawn. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, so we are now slowly making progress. Uh, maybe keeping, maybe keeping a mob. Um, try and keep the same mob charmed to clear other mobs is the way to go. We'll have to see. There go the resists. There we go. Okay. So we're kind of approaching the first section um, of the quest, which is quite good. <laughs> um, there was a moment there where I'd thought, this is never going to work. Um, these mobs are level 8, so... Still two levels lower than me. Yeah, there was a point there where I thought this is never going to work. Um, you do. I mean, I, it might seem that I don't need to. I could let the mobs fight for longer, but you do have to be aware of the. Um, you know, the charm is 20, 20 30 seconds, so. Um, Let's see what happens here. I think this mob will aggro eventually. Let's just let's just um, let's just mez it now, shall we? Okay, we're making pro we're making progress. Let's take him out of. Uh, okay, we're nearly in the first bit. <laughs> it's just mem. It's dismember. It's pretty decent, I have to say. There's an NPC here. There's no. I haven't got any router in Viz at the moment, so yeah, I don't have any other ways of really, you know, dungeon crawling or crowd controlling. Okay. Kuot the spear burner. Okay, so what's happening here is that is that you there are certain quests you have to do to, to get to the end and and kill the Iku Dai uh, mob at the end. This is uh, this altar of fire is being drained of power, basically, um, and we need to kill some mobs. To carry on, so we need to kill some eyes of pain and warlocks. Okay, so there is a mob here that may spawn at any time. I think I can. Yeah, I don't know if there's a bug or not, but you can you can kind of charm mobs, and mobs near them don't react. They don't aggro. So maybe that's a bug. I'm not sure. Uh, 
Maybe I should have killed the fiendish imp there. I'm not sure. We'll kill these two imps, then we can deal with the two mobs here. If I'm missing anything, please let please 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 let me know. Oh blimey. These, these fiendish imps are level 8, but please, please don't die. Not now. Whew, okay. Holy smokes. Let's quickly heal. <laughs> so it seems as though maybe the spawns of the spawns are being kind to me, maybe. At the moment. <laughs> uh, you'll see. Two, two mobs are one here. So I think I might end the video here because it's been going on for quite some time. What I might do is clear clear around, clear the mobs that I need to kill and then we'll come back and carry on with the quests. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Thanks for watching.